What's going on guys? Burrito here and today we're back to another video. Um, don't mind all of the tabs that I have open on my uh, browser. Uh, a lot of people get triggered about that. But today we're going to be over, going over all of the Mi 6 commands, the most helpful ones, some that uh, aren't as helpful. Uh, I've been having a lot of questions in my comment sections about certain commands that Mi 6 can have. So this video should solve it or at least be used as a good reference for those questions. So, um, I'm going to be going over all of the commands, reading all the summaries, and the most helpful once again. So, delete bot messages, obviously, deletes bot messages. Then, Mi6 comes with warning commands because Mi6 is more of a moderation bot, meaning Mi6 will help uh, clean up your server and help keep it clean. So, if someone is breaking the rules, it will warn them if you have it set to that. Um, you guys can check out my Mi6 videos in the description, and um, if you just want to warn someone, then you can obviously give them that warning, and you can give them up to three warnings, and then depending on if they get another warning after that, that is your uh, level of consequences. Then uh, the plugin commands, so uh, these have to do with levels and stuff. Uh, you can do exclam exclamation point levels, and then it gives you a link to the leaderboard showing who is the most XP, who has the most levels, stuff like that. You can give rank or exclamation point rank to any user to see what they are, if you're having a contest or just generally curious. And now these are the moderation plugin commands. So these are probably going to be the most helpful. So the ones that we already looked at up here, I think um, warning commands should be under moderation, but that's about, uh, they just put that there. So around these, these ones that are highlighted right here, I think these are helpful, I'm not going to lie, but the real helpful ones start coming under um, moderator plugin commands. So you can ban a member and then you can give them an optional reason, meaning you can just ban them and you don't have to give a reason, but if you'd like to give a reason and keep everything clean and uh, tidy, then you can obviously give them a reason. You can temporary ban them, so that means they're gone, and then their ban uh, gets uh, ended or it expires after a certain amount of time that you put in. So it temp ban, member, duration, optional reason, once again. So clear, optional member, option count. So clears messages in a particular channel. So if someone is like, uh, let's say you have the general chat, and that person is... Um, saying a bunch of stuff that you don't want to be in there you can clear those messages that that person said and you can choose how many messages you want to delete infractions you can check how many warnings a single member will have or infractions obviously let's say someone has been doing a lot of stuff and you want them gone from your server but you don't have a valid reason so you can check their infractions to see how many infractions they have can this serve as a reason for them being kicked or banned then obviously kick, mute, and temp mute are obviously very um, very easy to figure out what they mean. So you can kick a member, optional reason, mute a member, optional reason, and then temporarily mute a member for a uh, duration of time. Slow mode, so if there's a chat with a lot of chats coming in and you want that chat to either be uh, a dead chat or you want it to be a very uh, chat that shouldn't really be used much. A really good example for this is a self, uh, self remote chat. So you don't want someone to be self promoting all the time. You put a slow mode on there so they can only slow, uh, promote their stuff every now and then. Then you can um, unmute the member. Let's say you were muting them and then you meant to put temp mute but you didn't. You can just unmute them. Uh, you can warn a member. Once again that kind of uh, replica replicates these warning messages up there and then you can do uh, the regular search plugin commands so once again I'm just gonna say this these up here oh shoot not these right here so right there the highlighted ones on my screen right now if you want to take a screenshot or whatever um, I think these are the most uh, helpful, so now we're going to be going on to more of the general. Search plugin commands, you can do an anime search, an imger, imger or imger search, pretty much searches for memes on im, imger or imger.com. Manga search, search for any manga on kitsu.io. Uh, Pokemon, 
uh, Twitch, Urban, and YouTube. Urban pretty much just searches something in the Urban Dictionary. I'm not really sure what manga is, but it searches for that. So these two I'm not really uh, familiar with. I know what a meme is, obviously, but I've just never used... I haven't used anime, Imgur, manga, Pokemon, Twitch, Urban, or, or I have used YouTube. So those I don't... I don't really find helpful because I don't use them that much, but they can be found helpful to other people. So I found these on a random website. That's literally the name of the website. So uh, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, ask them in the description below. This is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge, and I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll see you later.